Well, you asked for it, here it is. Welcome to another episode in my new series, Graphite Stocks, where I hope to one day have analyzed every single graphite stock on the stock market. Today, I am coming to you with the company that was actually the start of this YouTube channel, Nuvo Monde Graphite. And let me tell you, this company is a banger of a value proposition. In fact, the company could easily 10x in value over the next three years. But but will your investment also 10x over the same time period? Well, that depends. Let's talk about all that and way more in this video. But let's start with a company overview. The best way I can summarize NMG is they aren't trying to become the lowest cost graphite project. They aren't trying to become the highest volume graphite project. They are trying to become the benchmark graphite project. What I mean by that is their deposit isn't the purest, their annual production plans aren't the biggest, but what other companies aren't doing is facilitating a green local supply of graphite and Nouveau Monde graphite is. What is the point of electric vehicles if they are being powered from dirty batteries, both from environmental and social perspective? NMG recognizes that and they are going all in on becoming the best graphite company from an ESG standards front. The company partnered up with Hydro Quebec, which allows them access to cheap and extremely green hydroelectricity. And the company hopes to one day be a part of the carbon neutral supply chain of many electric vehicle producers. In fact, NMG has partnered up with Caterpillar to produce the first fully electric mining equipment. That is the kind of stuff that doesn't show up in financial financial statements or balance sheets, but that does matter. Being one of the only truly sustainable graphite projects on earth is a huge part of the potential mode of NMG. And I do say potential because honestly, NMG isn't there yet. In fact, the company is currently doing zero dollars in revenue. Currently, they're only spending money on their grand plans. So if you are investing in NMG, you are investing in a pipe dream. But that pipe dream is in fact pretty bright. In fact, we will sketch a scenario in which your investment could 8x over a three year period. Those are the kinds of returns that dreams are made of. Anyways, what are those grand plans? Before I can explain that, I first have to explain the three types of graphite that matter for our investments, intents and purposes. Those are one, graphite feedstock. This is how graphite can be found in the ground. Two, graphite concentrate. This is dead natural graphite, purified close to 100% purity. This stuff trades for roughly $2,000 per ton currently. Three, anode material. This is graphite shaped, purified and coated up to a spec needed for use in batteries. This stuff trades for roughly $10,000 per ton. And NMG hopes to sell both number two, so the graphite concentrate, and number three, the anode material, in the future. How? Well, step one, they hope to have their mine operational next year, so 2023, where they hope to take 2.5 million tons of dirt and turn that into 100,000 tons of graphite concentrate. Again, that was step one. And once NMG's grand plans have materialized, the company hopes to sell 40% of that, so 40,000 tons directly. Next up, step two, where we take the remaining 60%, yeet that into an anode material facility, and that anode material facility will turn those 60,000 tons into 42,000 tons of anode material, and that facility will also poop out 3,000 tons of jumbo flakes and 18,000 tons of byproduct fines. Both these jumbo flakes and product fines are basically byproducts, but they can be sold for pretty considerable prices too. I think I forgot to mention, but the anode material facility should be up and running by 2025. And that is Nuvo Monograffite's grand plan. As we'll see during the second part of this video, this combination of the mine and the anode facility could make NMG a super profitable investment for us retail investors. But of course, these facilities will cost money. In fact, the most recent estimation came in at 1 billion US dollars in total. To be fair, NMG has already spent a considerable amount of money on their 
are meta winning mine. After all, their property, plant, and equipment are already worth $50 million on the balance sheet. But the fact of the matter is, NMG will need to spend a ton of money to finance these grand plans. And since the company only had $14 million in cash back in September, this money has to come from somewhere. Insert this news report from the 14th of June 2022, where NMG announced that roughly 70% of the total funding required for phase two will come in the form of debt and government grants. At least they are busy negotiating those terms with export credit agencies and the Canadian government. And we are still awaiting the final terms of this entire package. Anyways, that means that we can assume that roughly 30% of this $1 billion figure will come in the form of dilution. And I think that was a pretty good summary of Nouveau Monde Graphite. Number one, NMG is a company which hopes to become a green graphite alternative for electric vehicle producers. Moreover, we have discussed their plans for 2023 when the mine should become operational and their anode facility should be operational by 2025. And we have determined that the company still needs to raise a lot of capital, probably around the one billion dollar figure. Now let me show you my model, price predictions and buy targets. Three steps. First we'll discuss a more conservative estimation. Second we'll change the figures slightly for more bullish projections. And lastly, I'll share my thoughts regarding investing in Nouveau Monde Graphite. This part's actually the same for both projections. I've literally copied these amounts of graphite at these prices into my spreadsheet. And I do think it's important to notice that these prices are actually pretty conservative. For example, graphite concentrate is actually already trading at $2,000 per ton as we speak. Moreover, we are expecting a graphite deficit market to start somewhere between now and 2023. And a deficit market is almost a guaranteed way to push up graphite prices over the long term. So this revenue projections for the two facilities combined is actually pretty conservative in my opinion. And this figure will stay the same for both of my models. Now, model number one, the conservative estimation. And first off, we can see that revenue figure we just calculated right here. The company hopes to have their annual facility up and running by 2025, so I do believe it's safe to assume this revenue figure can be attained by 2026. Now, how much capital will NMG need to raise? The official figure is $1 billion, so let's copy that figure. I do believe that this $1 billion input is fairly conservative since the NMG mine should be operational by 2023 and they should be generating revenues from that point forward. But then again, projects like these never run on time and they never finish below budget. So all in all, this $1 billion to be raised additionally, excluding the revenues that will be generated between 2023 and 2025, I believe to be a reasonable bet. Anyways, the stock is currently trading for around four to four and a half dollars per share. So it is very likely that the funds will need to be acquired below this figure, say $3 per share. And of course, 30% of the full $1 billion price tag will need to be raised through dilution. So 30% of 1 billion means $300 million that need to be raised through shares. That's at $3 per share in this model, which means 100 million shares will be created extra between now and 2026. There was a lot of explaining and a lot of calculations to do in a very short amount of time. Hopefully everything on your side was clear, and if not, do not hesitate to drop your questions down below. Now a cute cat to increase your endorphin levels. Recovered? Good. Now let's continue with the conservative estimation. If we take that future revenue number, which we calculated just a bit ago, and slap on a future price to sales ratio of five, we get to a future market cap of $2.4 billion by 2026 
for Nouveau Monde Graphite. I chose five in this case because I believe that's a reasonable estimation for this company, which will still have quite a bit of growth potential by 2026. According to the website, NMG currently has about 60 million shares outstanding. And we calculated that an additional 100 million shares will need to be created between now and 2026. So by 2026, according to this model, there will be 160 million shares of NMG outstanding. Now, if we divide that future market cap by this future shares outstanding, we can see that NMG could easily be worth $15 per share by 2026, which is about a 3.5x return in just three to four years. Of course, we could also express this future value in today's money, for example, at a discount rate of 15%, which would give NMG an intrinsic value-ish today of about $8.5 per share. I personally would not pay that amount at this moment in time for NMG with the knowledge I have today, mainly because NMG is super risky. So a risk factor should be applied. Again, it is up to you whatever this figure should be. It could be 50%, it could be 60%, it could even be 75%. But we can see the higher the risk factor we apply, the lower our buy target becomes. So yeah, conclusions of model one. A lot of shares will have to be created if we assume these inputs to be true. NMG's value as a company can easily eight to 10X over this time period, but the share price most likely will not. Also, even when we are pretty conservative, if NMG succeeds in our phase two plans, losing money from this price point is unlikely. I hope that your brain still works. My apologies for throwing all these figures and calculations your way, but I do believe it's important to understand what all these inputs do to your value as an investor. Another cute animal, a puppy in this case, as an endorphin boost. Hopefully you are ready for some more numbers. It's time for the more bullish projection. What if the capital to be raised figure is still the same, but only 20% of that figure will come through dilution? For example, if NMG signs a couple of offtake agreements. Well, all else being the same, we can see that NMG should grow to $22 per share by 2026, which is more than a 5x return compared to the current share price by the way. And that is some good shit. That is a phenomenal return, and this price to sales ratio is still conservative in my opinion. If we increase that price to sales ratio to, for example, 7, we can see that the value of NMG by 2026 goes up all the way to $30 per share. That is almost a 7 to 8x return in just 4 years, even with significant dilution. So if you believe this more bullish projection to be more likely, NMG might be a phenomenal investment today. And if you believe the more conservative case I sketched out, NMG today isn't as great as an investment. Do not get me wrong, a 3.5x return in just four years is still really solid, but NMG is also pretty darn risky. So you as an investor need to balance these two things risk versus reward. What is the return you believe to be most likely? What is the risk you believe to be most likely? How do these two things interact with each other for Nouveau Monde Graphite? And probably most importantly, how does this risk reward scenario compare to other graphite stocks in the graphite stock market? Those questions can only be answered by you. But hopefully this video did help you with answering some of those questions. Regarding my own thoughts on Nouveau Mono Graphite, well, I do not own any NMG shares in my own portfolio at this moment in time. But I might be enticed to nibble into a position if NMG share price dips a little bit lower. Now, time for the classic YouTuber disclaimer. While I am a registered financial advisor in the Netherlands, I do not have the legal capacity yet to give anyone investment advice. Therefore, this video and any other video on this YouTube channel can never be taken as financial advice. 
I cannot be held liable for the losses you make while trading according to my opinions. Please do your own due diligence, blah, 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 you know the drill. But before you go, please do recommend your favorite graphite stocks down below in the comment section. The graphite stocks with the most comments and upvotes will be featured first. Now with that said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Peace.